everyone, my name is Hamihiko. And I'm Jody. And we are presenting today uh, about language register. So, here's our line for uh, our presentation. We will introduce what, what is a language register. Then we will show the videos that we made. Uh, we interviewed three native speakers and asked about uh, various questions. Asked various questions about uh, language register. And next we will have fun activities. You will learn how when and how you should use particular uh, register in particular special occasion. And we will gonna wrap up. So. What is register? Um, do you guys know any idea? Formal register, and uh, what we learned just now is like within this formal register, we have like more divisions, more uh, register. And well, language register refers to uh, different types or styles of language, and we have yeah, formal, informal, also, also we have kind of middle register, and our normal conversation is uh, most likely uh, middle, no, middle register or informal. Joy is going to explain these two in detail. So, what is high register, which means formal register as well. And as you can tell, like from academic paper you're writing nowadays for the school, it's kind of high register. And also when you are doing a, a formal presentation, like a panel discussion, or when you are going to like um, conservation, sorry, not conservation, like um, like a formal meeting or conference. That is kind of formal language high register you are using. And also when you are interview and you give your cover letter and the resume, you cannot just walk into the interview and tell your boss like, hey, what's up, man, right? That is kind of low register. You probably just like bow a little bit and then say, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Li Chao Yi and can I know you something? Like that is a little bit high register. So on the other hand, after you know about the formal register, you probably want to know what is um, kind of a magazine you can try to uh, be put in your conference and what kind of thing are high register of academic writing. For example, we can get a lot of results from the economist. So that is kind of a high register. And also Time or the New Yorker. And when you are reading a newspaper from the New York Times, those kind of language they use in the writing is high register. So when you are trying to write and find more results, try to higher up your language of using, you can use that kind of skill to try to practice. So on the other hand, you probably want to know what is informal or low register. Like during every day we are doing conversation and when I see me, I was like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Jody? So when I say, bye, <laughs> see you later. Later. So that is kind of low register or formal <laughs> conversation. And also like a slang, swearing, you know, like F word, everybody know that. It's kind of low register. And you probably were saying like about writing, which kind of style of writing is low register. Like the people, Ellie, and of course, Playboy. That's kind of low register. I try to recognize high and low, and you guys will notice that. Okay, so after that, we have a little bit of practice here. And who can tell me what kind of register of this writing it is, and from which word you have been read? Just skip it. Glasses, tiptoe, sexy secretary, glasses, and the price. Who can tell me is a high register or low register of writing? Low, 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 register. low register? Smart! Because that is from People Magazine. So we have comparison here. So who can read out for me, please? Thomas, you can read out for me. Please, go. Miss Palin, a former local beauty queen born in Idaho and raised in Alaska, has attracted monikers ranging from Sarah Barracuda, from her adver adversarial style, mm -hmm. to Saint Sarah. <laughs> okay. From her support for gun rights and oil drilling to her opposition to abortion, Miss Palin is popular with cons 
conservatives. Conservatives. In adding Miss Palin to the ticket, the McCain campaign hopes to compete for those seeking the change. Senator Barack Obama offers and placate social conservatives while maintaining his own reputation for independence from GOP orthodoxy. Thanks for your nice speech. So. <laughs> Obviously, this is kind of a high register, and they use some really academic word, and of course, it is from New York Times. Okay, so after we are going to, um, I told you what is high register and low register, and why it's important in your life, so Fumi is going to tell you why it is important. So, why is it important? Um, so, no register is right or wrong in itself. So nothing wrong with using a uh, low register when you are talking to your friend or your family. Uh, what, matter is, what matters is these four, appropriateness, context, participants, and their status situation. So for example, um, the People magazine, th their um, audience was um, not like high academic scholars, but like normal people. So they use like low register. And also, um, uh, yeah, as Jody mentioned, if you are talking to someone you don't know at the conference or something, then you wouldn't use like slang or lower register. You should be using um, more higher higher register, and that's that decides like any of these any change from of these uh, four components, then you your register might change. So. So now we are going to show you a video and it's about native speaker, how they think about register is and what they use, how they use in daily life or when they are writing. So I hope you guys like the video. <laughs> <laughs> 